This is the modification tutorial for the end strike jolt. I have my jolt right here. This is for my giveaway. And uh, I already modified this jolt. And as you can see, I took out the barrel post and the air restrictor. Now I'm going to show you how you do the air restrictor removal mod and how you take out your barrel post. What you're going to need for this mod is your needle nose pliers and a screwdriver. The first step is to unscrew all of the four screws on the bottom of the jolt because you want to take this piece off right here. And after you do that, I'll show you what you do next. Careful because once you take out this last screw, it will pop out on you because the spring is inside. And once you have done that, you could either dump out the screws on the bottom, but make sure you keep them because you're going to need them when you put the blaster back together. I'm just going to set them aside here. So now that you have opened up your jolt, you can just pull this plunger tube out and uh, the spring is housed here. And uh, we'll just set this aside for now. What you want to get at? is inside this little hole is an air restrictor. What you're going to want to do is take your needle nose pliers and just kind of stick them in, jam them in, and keep pulling out until you pull out a big unit. It should look somewhat like uh, this right here. As you can see, I've pulled out the uh, spring right here, so now Getting out the air restrictor should be a little easier. This is the piece that will come out once you have gotten your air restrictor out. Once you've gotten that out, there should be nothing else in here. And you can just discard this piece along with its spring. And that's how you remove the air restrictor. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the barrel post. Removing the barrel post is so that you can use darts in here beside uh, the elite darts and there's a little rod preventing you from using other darts so all you do it's really easy just take your pliers and then you don't want to just do anything just kind of pull it out yank it out really hard you just pull it straight out really hard and uh, you don't really want to take out that plate in the back because uh, that'll prevent your dart from going too far back you just want to rip out this little plastic piece right here and if you tug hard enough, it should come out. If it doesn't come out, uh, no worries really, because elite darts are the best alternative. So now that you have removed your air restrictor, what you're gonna wanna do is reassemble your blaster. You don't need uh, these pieces that you took out. These are garbage, you can put it away, but you do still need to have your four Phillips head screws when you put the back plate on the jolt. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this, kind of just uh, push it in. You could push the trigger down, that'll allow it to slide in nice and easy. And then this part right here should be facing the front of the jolt, like that, when you put it back together. The way I like to do this is I like to kind of just hold it on right here while uh, I just take a screw, put the screw in the post. And once you get the first screw, you're kind of okay, you don't have to press down. but then you just do the same thing for the rest of your screws. So now that I have modified it, I will show you it firing.
This has been the modification guide for the N-Strike Jolt. Thank you for watching.